Okay, Smokestack members, this is Johnny C here in New Jersey in my garage. We need to put a myth to rest here. I keep reading about these uh, exciter crank generators needing a big Fuken battery. Alright, what does that mean? A big damn ass battery to get these things going because they're exciter cranked. Uh, I disagree only with the square head generators. These are square head generators. The round head generators, yes, but the square ones, no. As you can see, I got one two three of these guys right here and what do we have for a battery we have a very small tractor sized battery 275 cold cranking amp battery what i'm going to do i'm going to start this guy okay it's very cold out here okay we have snow i don't know if you can see it or not the temperatures right here in the garage are right about freezing and I haven't started the 6.5 NH uh, generator in probably like about two months or so, maybe more. I've been working on the 4.0 BFA. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start this generator, a cold start, on a battery that's the size of a, a small tractor battery. Uh, we just had temperatures uh, in the 20s yesterday. And I'm going to start on propane. What I'm going to have to do is uh, take this little gizmo thing off of uh, my 4.0 and pop it on here. We're going to do a cold start. I did not charge this battery uh, last night or in the past couple months. I don't even know if it's still alive. Okay, once again, this is a very, very small battery, tractor battery. Uh, give me a few moments and I'll be back with you. Okay, folks, I've uh, hooked up my propane little gizmo. We're hooked up to two tanks of uh, propane uh, feeding into the uh, carburetor. As I mentioned, this thing is stone cold. It's uh, actually below freezing right now. Okay, if this thing was uh, warmed up, heated up, whatever, my, my hands will be burning. This thing is stone cold. Again, we got snow outside, and uh, we're going to do a test run on this. Again, this is a very small battery. It's a 275 cold crank and amp battery, tractor battery, nothing bigger than that. Uh, it's probably about half the size of a regular uh, automotive battery. And we're going to give this a whirl. Again, I have not started this in a long, long time. I expect it's probably going to take about 8-9 seconds to start because there's no vapor in the system right now. Yeah, I got the valves on, but the solenoid right here is not going to allow any vapor to go through until the... Uh, Ignition is energized. Okay, here we go. Let's give this a shot. Seems to be turning just fine. There we are. She's running fine. Again, you do not need a big Fuken battery to start these square head uh, generators. Oh, look at this here. Maybe I got some uh, moisture in the system. I don't know. It's been a long time since I started this. Okay, once again, we're below freezing. I don't know if you can see the uh, thermometer. Alright. And this thing is running just fine. It's not oil. It's just uh, regular paper. Okay, so there you go. Once again, you do not need a big of battery to start these square head generators. That's assuming that your uh, generator's in top running condition. All right, see that? Do something like cold cranking in. All right, that's it. Looks like the uh, vapor, steam, whatever is, is uh, gone. Might as well let this run a little while. Hopefully this puts the myth to rest. If you have any debate, let's hear it. 